and hello everybody and i hope everybody's okay and i hope everybody is looking after themselves this evening tonight's production will be on homelessness you can be homeless for lots of different uh, things um, a lot of armed forces are actually homeless when they have left the army and have nowhere to go because armed forces don't get the support they need to get into housing and it's like living in a different environment as well um, because you're no longer living in the army you're going to go back into modern day life and modern day life is actually different um, from army life in all different aspects you could be homeless through drug and alcohol addiction you could be homeless for not paying your rent and not that type of thing and gambling addictions and that time you can be homeless all for that but homeless people don't seem to get the support uh, from government or from councils because if you end up in debt uh, you're not going to be able to pay your bills and you're not going to be able to uh, pay your mortgages and you're not going to be able to pay anything it could be the aspects of you lost your job if you lost your job you're not going to be able to afford to pay your rent you're not going to be able to keep your business you're not going to, be able to keep that type of thing but you also have homeless people that uh, are falling into alcohol addiction or drug addiction which they should have really have rehabilitation uh, to actually support them and um, get off that type of substance or that type of uh, addiction uh, but um, they don't actually get support for that there's nowhere they can actually go to uh, get support for that and it's really 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 sad and uh, addiction and alcohol abuse and homelessness is actually on the on the rise and it's one of the major problems we have in today's society we're one of the richest countries in the world but we have people that are actually homeless and it's really really upsetting and everybody is on the verge of actually becoming homeless you're only a couple of pence away in some sense from being homeless because you don't pay your rent and it keeps building up and building up and building up you're going to go into what they call arrears and if you end up in arrears your housing company or your landlord will send bailiffs in and if bailiffs have high court rates they can actually break into the property and they will just throw all your belongings out on the property without actually you having a say in that um, and it has happened so everybody is on the verge of homelessness and we need to talk uh, more about homelessness and it's one of them topics uh, which a lot of people actually need to um, think about So you also have to think about it as well if you're actually a lady and you have to go into an hostel because a lot of hostels are actually full of men um, and aren't there any women about so that woman is actually putting herself at risk of being around men as well she might have been sexually abused you don't know uh, but she's got homeless and um, for reasons that she can't help being homeless uh, but she's having to be put back into an environment uh, which she won't be used to uh, she's got to actually live on the street she's a vulnerable person because she's a lady um, so she could actually be raped while she's on the streets um, she could actually be sexually abused while she's on the streets she might even have to turn to prostitution um, to uh, feed herself she might even have to uh, get a pimp and uh, the pimp has to find clients for her as well but if she don't know what the pimp's around and says she could be beaten up for it um, there's loads and loads and loads of horrible 
uh, things uh, when it comes to homelessness that people don't actually think about. It could even be a young young teenage girl that's actually just become homeless uh, from losing her parents and uh, she's got to find money and ways to actually feed herself and look after herself. So she could also go down that road as well. It could be a young boy as well. Uh, it could be a man as well um, that has to do sexual acts as well on other men to actually pay for food. You don't actually know what the hell goes on on them streets. And look at the weather. The weather's another thing you've got to think about. The rain, the snow, the sleet, the hail. They're having to lay in street corners in front of all them weathers and there's no support for them. How are you going to feed yourself if you're homeless? How are you going to survive in this horrible world that we live in? You're going to end stand on the street corner, right? You'll sit on the street corner with, like, hopefully, with a blanket over yourself. Hopefully asking if people can actually support you to actually live and that type of thing. But what you don't realise is doing that it is a criminal offence. It's begging, technically. The police will come by and they will get you done for begging and they will fine you for begging. So you have no money, you have nothing, you're homeless. You will be done for begging, you will end up getting a prison sentence and you will end up going to court. Maybe it would be better for the homeless person to actually go into prison. Because if you think about it, they've actually got a roof over their head and they're actually being fed. So if the homeless, so the homeless person will want to commit crime to get a roof over their head and to end up in prison. Because it will be better for them because at least they're off the streets. But when they leave the prison, they're back on the streets again. But what happens if they actually need a fixed address? To actually get bail. You have to think about that that way as well. Don't forget. There's loads of things that it comes into it. Um, very hard subject. And it's very hard to actually deal with. But just remember as well. You might not understand that that person may be lying to you if they're homeless or not. You can't actually work out who is homeless and who is not homeless. So you might just think to yourself, oh, I'll give him a tenner here, I'll give him a fiver there, I'll give him a pound there. You don't actually know if the person's homeless or not. So you technically the best thing to do is actually feed them. Um, get them a hot drink or get them something to eat because that is more better than what it is actually giving them money in a sense as well but i hope you've enjoyed tonight's live and i hope it's bringed uh, a bit more acknowledgement to homelessness for you thank you and stay safe everybody